Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. And if this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie Kate Love and I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday helping you to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition, which is what this whole weekly angel guidance is all about, and to manifest your heart's true desires. So this is just going to give you some guidance to help you deal with the week ahead. So this is going to be from March the 28th to June the 3rd. This is a really beautiful week because in this week, on the 29th or the 30th of May, depending on where you are in the world, we actually have the full moon in Sagittarius. So there is a lot going on. So just take from this reading what feels truly best for you because it is actually a general reading. But if you want some detailed clarity that's specific to you, then you need to book yourself your own private reading. So we're going to be starting the week out in the Gibbous Moon, which is asking us to trust. And your affirmation is, I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. Like how good does that feel? Like you just feel like the shoulders move away from the ears and it's just like, oh, yeah, everything's working out for me. We may not understand it, but our angels already have everything figured out for us. We just have to surrender to the process and it will set ourselves free. Then on Wednesday, we're going to be moving into the full moon in Sagittarius. This is the time to release. And your affirmation is, I release anything that no longer serves my highest good. This is a really powerful time. And if you have already purchased my Forgiveness Heals Guide of Visualization, this is the perfect time to listen to that again. And if you haven't already purchased it, make sure you do. It's $9.99 in my shop. That's Australian dollars. So you're welcome to check that one out. It's very powerful. Then we move into the Disseminating Moons. So this happens on Sunday. Now the Disseminating Moon is all about receiving. So your affirmation is, I receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. This is, oh, I'm so excited. This is just such a beautiful week. Every week is beautiful because we move through different phases and they um, correspond with different elements that you may be going through. But I really love the receiving phase because this is where sales pick up in my business. This is where, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just really beautiful. I just really, really love it. Anyways, so they are the cards that we have. These cards are actually from created from a beautiful friend, Jo, from the Moon Underscore Journal. You can find her on Instagram and you can purchase these ones. I've noticed a lot of you who I've, um, I've checked some of your Instagrams. And I'm like, oh my God, you have Jo's cards. Oh my God, you have Jo's cards. It's just awesome. Okay, so we're going to start with the Shadowscapes Tarot today, which is one of my favorite tarot decks currently. All right. So this is just general. So just, just take from that what feels best for you. And then at the end of the reading, there'll be a message that will be ingrained into your subconscious. And then that is what your clarity is for the week ahead. So I hope this helps you out. Angel's going to have one card from a beautiful MK Love fam. Do you believe we're moving into June already? Oh my God. From... The 28th of May to the 3rd of June. What do my MK Love fam need to know? Okay, first card. Oh my goodness, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is beautiful because it kind of carries forth with last week's reading. Last week we were talking about like putting the supports and the structure in place and you know, cleaning up your vibration. Um, I spoke a lot about the Kamari method and it was just like you surveying the land, this new delicious land. And this is the land that you've never touched before. And you're doing things you haven't done because you want to get results that you haven't had yet. So this is beautiful. The Ace of Pentacles is a brand new start, this new chapter. And Ace represents the beginning. Pentacles is abundance in however that looks like for you. This could be family, friend, this could be career. This could literally be um, financial prosperity. This is so beautiful. So we're just starting this brand new chapter. This brand new chapter. This, it's like 
is this the start? Because I feel like I was like, oh, is this the start? Because I'm like, it's a new moon. And, but no, it was like, oh, we were preparing this part. And I'm like, is this the start? So I'm so interested to hear what comes up for you guys. All right, clarity on the Ace of Pentacles, please, angels. What do my MK Love fam need to know? Do they need to know? Oh, shit. Three of Swords. Okay, well, this is the perfect time for this card to come up. This card is like sorrow. This card is like, you know, it's like your, your heart is heavy. This card is like, it's a beautiful card because it is an opportunity and it is perfectly synced with the full moon. So, I feel like on the full moon, this is all about forgiving yourself forgiving other people that have hurt you, releasing anything that no longer serves your highest good. And this is just an opportunity for you to, you know, put to bed the things that have like rustled your feathers and really has been quite difficult for you. This could be, I heard loss of child. Um, I don't know if it's because I've been watching Alex and Phil on YouTube. I don't know if any of you guys follow. Um, such a beautiful family who talk about fertility and they talk about um, an open adoption. I know it's interesting because that was the first thing that I thought of. But this is just like really just taking care of you, like really just crying those tears until you have nothing left. And when you have when you get to that point and you truly release everything that no longer serves you, like maybe you've been doing little bits because in last week's I was talking about, you know, in the action phase, you, you could be like literally like cleaning up things that don't serve you. And maybe now that you have actually come to a completion, like you've actually gotten rid of everything that no longer serves you. It's like, maybe this is a time for you to mourn because maybe you were just kind of like, going through the emotion, the motions of the day and just being like a cog in a wheel and you're just like doing what you can to, you know, move things along, but you're not really taking care of yourself. And I feel like this is like going to be heavy on your chest, but this is a, a beautiful opportunity. You can forgive anyone or anything um, at any time, but the most powerful is on the full moon. Um, this could you... This could mean that you could like write a letter to the person that you're thinking of that has either hurt you or you know maybe things didn't go the way that you wanted them to but you want to send them love but you don't have direct contact with them writing a letter to them um and now i feel the pain has gone into my like sacral no not sacral solar plexus like the emotions like i can feel it like a pain in my belly now Okay, can we have clarity on Ace of Pentacles and Three of Swords? You know, what I really want to um, make extra clear is what I love about the phases of the moon is that it teaches us at this phase, this is what we need to do. And as you continuously are in alignment with the phases of the moon, and for instance, if something has really gotten to you, you're constantly releasing it. It's not like you're holding onto it for like 20 years and then it becomes, it manifests illness and disease within the body. You're actually dealing with the problem. And that's what I really want to stress to you is that when something comes up, feel that pain. I want you to feel that pain. Like, oh, I feel emotional now. Like I want you to literally cry until you have nothing left. And then when you're ready, pick yourself back off the floor call your friends and say, I need you to come over. Can you help clean my house? You know, something as simple as that. Or can we go, I want to buy a new outfit. I want to feel really beautiful today. I don't know how this looks like for you, but I really, really want you to be taking particular good care of yourself because you're letting something go. And when we let things go, it feels a bit like, depending, it could be like a massive release. It's like, oh my God, I've been holding this for so long. But endings... A sound but new beginnings it's like it's just a beautiful time but it's like you need to make peace with that before you can fully commit and fully move on I think that's what I'm trying to get across today clarity on ace of pentacles and three of swords 
What do my MK Love fam need to know? One card, please. Wow. Well, that one was quite aggressive. <laughs> the card that fell on the ground is actually the Page of Wands. I think this came up last week too. We had a lot to do with, with Wands. Wands is like your passion. The Page of Wands is like you, you've... It's like you're just in it. It's like you... <laughs> Like people are looking up to you. People may be thinking like, oh my gosh, you're so strong. I like, how did you get to where you are? And it's like, you know when you sometimes hear people like, oh, she was an overnight success. success. It's like, no, she wasn't. Do you know that there was like 10 years behind what she was doing? You only saw the end part. And I feel like you're, you're at a part, a place now where you're in alignment and you've released things. And now you can finally like, Things can start moving again for you. And as they're moving, like this abundance is going to come in. However this looks like for you. This this abundance could literally be a family member coming to help you out. This could literally be your mom coming over to babysit your kids. You know, it could be so many different things. It's just a general reading. So please take from this what feels right for you. Oh my gosh. And then we got the 10 of cups. Cups is the emotions. And 10 is like the completion. It's like you've come full circle. And this is like this uh, a masculine and a feminine energy. It's like very much, like they're entwined and they're very much in love. Love however this looks like for you. Wow. And I heard this, this, the circle of life. I don't know what, I think I saw that because of like, either this is the sun or the moon. It's, depends how you view it. But it's like a partnership. I feel like you have this, I feel like you have someone to help you cope with these emotions, this, this release of what you're going through with this card here. That's what I feel like's happening. This feels very like heavy on my chest, heavy on my belt, my tummy. Like I have like almost like discomfort in my my belly right now. So you're getting you're being rewarded for the work that you've already done. You're releasing things that don't serve you and as a result it's like you've got those wheels in motion again and you're just like free. And you have you definitely have support. Emotional support. I don't feel like you're doing this on your own. Whoa, they just threw out two cards just then. The first one that I saw was this one. Holy sh... Flip, I'm trying to stop swearing. The Seven of Pentacles. Oh my God, I love this card. I just pulled this one for myself this morning when I was doing my little um, morning ritual. The Seven of Pentacles, beautiful. It's like you've worked hard and these are your like peaches. Millions of peaches, peaches from for me. Peaches is like the summer fruit, like the sweet juiciness that's like, oh, I love stone fruit. Stone fruit for us always comes around like Christmas time. For those in the Northern Hemisphere, that's like your, you know, your, that well, when your summer is. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, it's like she's picking the fruits of, of her labor. It's like she's worked hard. I feel like these two kind of fit together, like picking the fruits of your labor, but this is the abundance, but it's like, but then these are two different. One's an ace and one's a seven. So that's like, that's a lot of abundance. And then the other card I pulled, whoa, is the three of pentacles. We're getting a lot of pentacles this week, which is interesting because this is the receiving phase of the moon cycle. Whereas last week it was all to do with wands. So the three of pentacles is like, is, is other people helping you out. And that's what I see with the cups. Like this is like a partnership here. But then in this one here, I see like, it's like two people. I'm seeing masculine and feminine. However, this looks like for you. But then there's like a little, what do you call it? Like a chameleon? I don't know if that's right. What do you, what do you think that thing is? What are they looking at? 
But there's three like stars. Hmm. Every time I think of stars, it reminds me of that song. When you wish upon a star, it don't matter who you are. My tummy feels funny though. Maybe your tummy feels funny because like you haven't had to ask for help before and now you're like, oh, I'm, I'm in too deep. I need some help. And I feel like your angels have sent some beautiful people along the way to help you out. This could be like people you don't know. This could literally be like a stranger or it could be like your best friend. It depends. Like what level do you feel comfortable with? Like some people don't feel comfortable telling their friends about what's going on, but they will speak to like me and I can read their soul in a private reading or, you know, this, I don't know. I just feel like I feel like you're doing a lot of releasing around this that doesn't serve you. And as you go through the motions, you're asking for help and you've got the help. You have, you know, you have these people around you to help during this time to help you grow and evolve and to heal. And you know, sometimes we need people to help us out. This could be like the emotional support, but then this could also be like financial support. That's what I'm feeling with this one here. This is interesting. I love this. I love how each reading is like totally different, but in the same time, it kind of still flows on with each week. It still blows me away that I do this. Like, really? Woo! Okay, thank you. I'll stop talking. Then the. Oh my god, we got the King of Cups. Okay. <sighs> okay. I love this card. The king is like mastering the emotions, mastering all this crap that you've gone through because you know what? You have released, you have taken time, you have purchased my forgiveness heels, guided visualization. You spent 30 minutes on that full moon, literally listening to that. You've gone out, you've breathed in the light from the full moon and you're just saying, universe, thank you. Thank you for sending this to me. But now I release it and I set it free because it wasn't truly meant to be. Oh, that was quite beautiful. I need to write that down. <laughs> that just kind of flowed out of me. The King of Cups is like sharing delicious goodness with others. So, and it's also like, like he's trying to give this little seahorse, you need a little drink? I've got a big cup here, you can have a little drink. You know, it's like that nurturing like, but then the King is not nurturing, well, he's very like, he's very generous, but I feel like the help that people have given you, it's like now you can give back. Are we in the giving back phase? No, we're not yet. Not yet, that's the phase after. But I just feel like you've released this thing that hasn't served you, and as a result, you're now seeing like the blockages have gone, which has allowed abundance to flow through. Um, either emotional abundance, this could be financial. I just feel like, not emotion, um, emotional abundance, I feel like you have people that can help you, help you keep centered and grounded, and that's what I feel like, like things are really going well for you. When you see this card, like don't freak out when you see this card. It's like, what's the first thing that came up when you saw this? What do you need to release? You know, you've, you've been in pain. What have you been holding on to? Because now it's time to release so you can set yourself free. Wow, isn't that interesting? Okay, so what are we in the give us me, which is trusting that everything's working out for you. You're releasing anything that doesn't serve you and then you're receiving abundance. So the, the abundance is basically like, is this. It's like you're picking the fruits of things that you have worked hard on and the abundance is also your friends like, or whoever's helping you out. I feel like you, you, there's people that are helping you out along the way. I feel sick. Like, was it something I ate before? I just had avocado on rice cakes, but I feel like nauseous. And I, sometimes when I read, I like I take on the energy of what I'm like my angels are giving me. So I'm like, is this me? Is this not me? Like, I feel nauseous. Oh. What, what is happening right now? Okay. Can we have more clarity, please? What else do we need to know for the full moon, angels? We've got three of swords. What else do we need to know for the full moon in Sagittarius? One more card for the full moon. Also, are you proud of me just using this deck today? 
out of my comfort zone. Oh my, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It took me about a month to feel comfortable with this deck. And now I'm already eyeing off two other decks. <laughs> oh, gotta stop talking. One card for the full moon in Sagittarius. I just said one. Okay, so this, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna put them back because they've given me like six cards. Oh, I feel sick. What is happening? That's the thing when you're psychic, like in an empathic and in intuitive, it's like, is this my, is this how I feel or is this what I'm picking up on? So I didn't feel sick before I was reading. Okay, thank you for the card. Ooh, the tower. So things that you have worked hard on, I feel like this is like a release, this is a renewal. Things that haven't served you and you've worked really, really hard over and they've been planted and they've got deep roots. Like things can like disappear in a second, you know? I always think of the tower as like a house fire. That's really terrible, but that's just, it's like, yeah, you've, you've created this beautiful house and you have all these lovely memories, but something happened and now it's gone. But it doesn't mean that that's the end of the world. It's like, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything's working out for me. I may not understand it, but people are going to come and they're going to help me out during the situation. And I have so much more to be grateful for. What is the most important thing to me? What is something that money can't buy? Money can't buy love. Money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy your health. You have so much to be grateful for. I've got goosebumps, I'm on the right track. You have so much to be grateful for. So whatever you're crying over here, you know, it wasn't meant to be. If it was meant to be, it would still be there. There is a lesson. You know, whenever there is a loss, there is always a lesson. It's like what, th I always say, thank you, thank you, thank you, universe. What is the lesson? What do I need to know about this? And your angels are saying, it's like, we're going to rebuild. We're going to rebuild a stronger foundation. And we have been talking about this new chapter for such a long, long time. And maybe some of you, this tower is your divine intervention. You know, it may not come in the most desirable ways, but the way that it's coming is for your highest good. However that looks like for you. If you're like, Mel, what the flip are you smoking today? Like, you need to book a private reading if this is, doesn't apply to you, but this is just a general reading and this is the information I'm receiving. So let's get one more card. One more card for the week of May the 28th to June the 3rd. What else do we need to know, angels? What do we need to know? In five. That one, okay. Ooh. I don't want this one. This is darkness. This is like, like you've messed up. This is like deceit. This is like, okay, if you made a mistake, it's okay. Because what's really beautiful if you make a mistake and you really mess up is that you actually have the ability to, to change it. It's, you know, think of it as if, as if like you missed somebody's birthday, you know? If you've missed it, it's more important about how you pick up the pieces instead of going, oh my God, I so missed your birthday. You know, like make a big song and dance about it. Make sure that that person knows that, that you, this, is, this was a mistake and it didn't come from a place of like, um, you know, hurt or negativity. It was like, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, that was not my intention. Just make sure that they know that you have pure intention. I don't, I don't like this card. This is like these two like swans have got are now black and black is like darkness. And it's just like, what can you learn from the situation and how can you move on and evolve and how can you grow? Ooh, let's get clarity on five of swords. Maybe that's what's been weighing you down. You like made a mistake and you're like making yourself pay. Oh, I've done this to myself so many times, especially with like, I bite my nails. Like these aren't my real nails, but I have nails underneath them and I have white on them, which is massive for me. But sometimes if I'm like biting my nails, like I'll bite them so much till they hurt. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I causing pain? Like that's when I like, 
um, when I used to emotionally eat like really bad. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna eat all of this. Oh, I'm gonna finish the, the rest of this packet or I'm gonna finish the rest of this. And it's like, you know you're full, but you're eating because you wanna inflict pain on yourself. Like that's really disgusting to talk about. But it's like, okay, what do you need to learn from this? You know, you made a mistake, right? Pick yourself back up and know that there's so much abundance around you. Like you haven't lost everything. Like this, this tree, there's still fruit for you to pick. Like you haven't lost everything. So stop freaking out. And if you need help, you know, ask your friends. Like you got the three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, you know, they're here to help you out. You really need to like stop focusing on the negatives because the negatives are going to create more of the same thing. That's why I teach the law of attraction in conjunction with like self-love and angel guidance is because everything is intertwined. It's like when you truly love yourself, like love yourself flaws and all, you choose, like you make every decision from a place of love. Like what do you put in your body? What car do you drive? Who are the friends that you keep? What job do you do? You know, everything you do comes from a place of love. And if you've been like self-sabotaging yourself, stop it. You need to stop it. And you need to forgive yourself. Like flip, things happen. So be it. What is the lesson that you can learn so you can grow and you can evolve? Or are you gonna keep beating the same old drum? Because if you're gonna do that, then you're not gonna get very far. You really need to start taking better care of yourself. Need to be a bit firm with you today. Wow. A couple of weeks ago, I was being sassy with you. And now I'm like, no, cut it out. Okay. <laughs> and the King of Pentacles. Well, this is a beautiful week. I'm going to finish on this card. So it's like once you sort yourself out, get yourself back on track, then you have all the abundance that you could possibly ask for. He has He's rooted in like solid foundation. He's got such a thick trunk. It's like... He has reached the top. It's like, you're gonna get there. You just need to stop freaking out about the things that went wrong and start focusing on what you have. Because when you focus on what you have, you get more of the same thing. Why do you think the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? You know, if you're constantly saying, I don't have money and money doesn't grow in trees and I can't do this. It's like, well, dude, you've just spoken all of that shit into your life. Instead, if you were to say, everything is working out for me, I had the most beautiful house ever. I love my car. I actually, Peter and I named our car the other day Onyx because she's black and we love black Onyx, which is fabulous for meditation. It's a crystal, by the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. And it's like, I love this. Like, I love that I can talk to you. I love like these cute little fake flowers that were on my mom's dining room table and I just totally moved them in here to make a little set, you know? It's like, you need to focus on what makes you feel good. I highly recommend there's a number of things. There's lots of call to actions for today. Purchase my forgiveness heels. Listen to that 30 minute uh, meditation. It's not gonna be available for much longer because I'm moving into one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Everything that's in my shop is gonna disappear very, very shortly. Um, what else is there? Releasing things that no longer serves you. Um, download my self-love starter kit. It's going to help you, make you feel amazing. That's the whole reason I created it. I have a five minute meditation to listen to when the shit hits the fan. I have a self-love practices workbook to help you identify what does self-love look like for you. You know, your self-love practices may be completely different to mine. And the other one is a 15 minute morning mindset audio to help program your mind for success. You know, if you still feel like these blockages, it's like you can't do it for you, like on your own and you need accelerated help, then that is when you book either a one-on-one -on -one intensive um, mini self-love makeover on my website. It's under the coaching tab. Or you book yourself a private reading. It's like, do you want help or not? Are you out of... Uh, position where you can help yourself and you've just fallen off the wagon a little bit or if you've fallen off so much that you don't even you can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel if you are at that phase and I want to help you I know how it feels to be in those situations and if you need my help I'm here to help you it's truly up to you so this is just a general reading take from this what feels best for you because oh my gosh it's a full-on week it's a very full on week, but it's mainly centered around forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving other people. 
For all of you beautiful souls that have already purchased Forgiveness Heals, please listen to that at the time of the new moon. So the time... Uh, no, the full moon, the times for the full moon is on the screen right now. So if you're in Los Angeles, your time will be on the 29th of May at 7.19 a.m. New York is 10.19 a.m. London is 3.19 p.m. Delhi is 7.49 p.m. Then on the 30th, if you're in Sydney, that is 12.19 a.m. And in Auckland, that is 2.19 a.m. So they are all the times. So this is the best time to listen. If you're doing something and you can't really, it doesn't really work for you, then, you know, listen to Forgiveness Heals or write down everything that's been heavy on your chest. I don't have that. Oh, I have a little bit of pain in my belly, but it's like in between like my heart chakra and my solar plexus. So they're two meditations to listen to as well. They're free. They're on my YouTube channel. There's just so many ways I can help you. It just is what resonates with you. What level of your self-love makeover are you at? You know, and I just want you to know that I'm proud of you. Wherever you are, no matter how negative you feel about yourself right now or what the flip you're going on because there's some heavy shit going on. Like I'm swearing a lot and I'm trying not to swear, but I've, I normally swear and I'm like really like cranky. This is like the card of the day. It's like, please release this pain. Release it so you can start feeling the abundance because Sunday we move into the disseminating moon where you start to see the fruits of your labor. You know, you may see a glimpse of this pentacles, the king of pentacles, but maybe more is going to come next week. It just depends. How prepared are you to release what no longer serves you? Anyways, my love, I hope this has helped you out. I hope this has kind of given you that little motivation, little kick up the butt to be like, you know, you need to start releasing these blockages because your angels are like, if you're not going to do it yourself, they're going to divinely intervene and really shake things up. And before you know it, like things can get really crazy when that happens. Anyways, my love, I hope this has helped. Please comment below and let me know what came up for you because as always, I would truly love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and join our beautiful MK Love fam. And what else is there? The bell, there's so many calls to actions today, but yeah, please take care of yourself. That is my main thing. Release those blockages, listen to forgiveness heals, and just know that everything is working out for you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And just know that, you know, whatever you're going through, it's just temporary. Everything you're going through is literally temporary and your angels have it all worked out. So tune into that energy and it will set yourself free. All right. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.